Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hatsu C, and welcome back to Beltless Factorium. Uh, last time we have built up this factory here for low density structures in the hope that we can get more rocket started. Um, I have been waiting around here a bit uh, just to see how this impacts uh, the, the whole scheme of things. So if we look at one hour um, and look at those, we can see we are over an hour at 116 per minute. So that's almost two low density structures per minute. So that gives me the indication that what we did was good, but based on uh, previous numbers, we should have around 150 to 160 per minute. Um, just doubling the number that we had previously. And of course we have these peaks uh, where we have rocket lift off and looks like they happen every, what is that? 16, 17 minutes. And we need to have them more often. We can see we are producing 33 uh, science packs per minute, but the number we aim for here is 120, which would mean two science packs per minute. And I fear the reason for this uh, let's actually take the car. The reason for this is still a lack of low density structures um, so that we uh, are not able to uh, to produce rockets fast enough. Yes, here you can see we have the rocket units. We have the rocket fuel. We even have satellites backlogged quite a bit, but no low density structures. And we have two trains making the journey there. Um, but then maybe let's also see, uh, first of let's mark this on the map here. And we can see currently there is no station that could, oh, now we have, um, maybe another train is in order. Yeah, one just, just arrived. Unloading goes pretty fast. And If we have the materials, you can see we are not re uh, really uh, creating a, a huge backlog of the low density structures, but at least now we get another rocket. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the means on me for another train but we can drive up here gather ourselves some um, wagons some locomotives and add another train here Uh, 
and then um, this should be the right schedule yes and let's see if one additional train uh, has an impact or if that just means um, we are running out of materials uh, for the low density structures because that would then mean we have to work a bit on the on the supply chain um, for for that uh, here we are producing more uh, but basically at this point everything we do takes a while to uh, make the uh, effect shown and we should not do things blindly uh, just on some assumptions, but verify that what we did was the right thing and then determine what the next step should be. So let's wait and see how this additional train affects the, the whole thing. We can now see that we are building up a backlog uh, almost to our steel chest. Uh, but I can see two improvements. One is this train sitting here um, with some fuel still in it because this chest is full and this one is basically blocking the next train to, to come in. So I think what we could do to the uh, schedules of this train is something similar as we did for i think the copper trains where we basically said um time passed that's two minutes but then you just wait five seconds here for the inactivity and that should basically uh, get the ball rolling uh, more frequently so that we can have more trains coming in here. So let's do that for all the trains. Two minutes and here we have five seconds. And then a last train two minutes and here five seconds and another thing that i noticed is the station before this one that's the fuel pickup and if we have a train standing there the other train is waiting at the fuel pickup uh, while this gets unloaded so if we would do something like this and basically have a waiting bay here That would then be waiting um, rocket parts delivery, right? We have a limit of one train. And then if we insert this station with 
that before this one that should mean once the fuel is loaded it goes to this station here then proceeds to the delivery if it's empty otherwise it sits there until the station gets empty and that way uh, we can we have optimized the travel time because at the fuel stop or the, the fuel pickup the train would leave once this station becomes free and has to make the whole journey taking a bit of time however if the train can move to here then the the train will uh, will move in once this one has left uh, i hope at least that does not get any uh, congestion uh, we will we will see so let's fix the schedule for the other ones as well that's the second one and the third one so we should see uh, if we get a train in here ah yeah that does not work uh, we probably need a signal signal like this one and let's back this one up and here we can have signal like that nice now that backfills which means basically our rocket silo is not fast enough but we can do improve that with uh, with beacons um, but i'm still a bit concerned that we might um, run out of low density structures that we cannot produce the amount uh, of low density structures that we would need uh, for the the rocket parts and I would rather keep an eye on that first before we speed up the the rocket part production. But let's wait and see if uh, we have any more trouble on here. So far I could not spot any issues with this setup. And maybe this is also due to the fact that we changed the schedules so that the trains are not sitting long enough here for the next train to be ready to come to this station. Um, and the fact that we only have three trains. So the amount a train spends actually sitting here, as you can just see, is is really uh, minimal and this one was a bit of surprise emptied out completely um, but as you can see we are backfilling here nicely uh, so that's that's good uh, what i also did is here on this cargo wagon uh, limit the uh, capacity to to one row because all other science packs stack to 200 so that means if we have a full wagon of science that's 8000 um, science packs delivered 
This one stacks to 2000, at least in this version of the game. Um, so with just one row, we have a delivery of 20,000 space science packs. And we probably want to have rather more frequent deliverers of space science than huge deliveries of space science because that could then stall the uh, the research as as we actually see so i am thinking we can throw on yet another train here i still have one in my pocket. And that should be the right one. Let's send that on its way. And if we look at uh, this graph, we can see we have more frequent rocket starts. Now the frequency is down to uh, one every nine minute, um, which would mean if we look at the, at the 10 uh, minute uh, reach, we have around uh, 100 science packs per minute we should still get that up a bit uh, to uh, 120 um, but I, I think at this point that's hampered by the speed the rockets are produced and uh, nothing else if we look at the low density structures we can see we are now at around 140 per minute production and this is the is the consumption there we are below so actually we are producing more low density structures than we are consuming uh, which means we can actually add more train for rocket production uh, in order to uh, to boost this and the question here then is if we add speed modules up here i think that's the the first out we can get and we need power for these ones as well so let's just fill things in and probably the next thing that will fail our satellites and for the uh, ingredients for the rocket parts i think we can still add a few more trains um, without uh, overshooting our uh, production capacity but these ones they are expensive and we only have one train making this round so maybe a second train is is in order there as well so and of course that was my my last train so um let's head up there grab more 
trains into my pocket and add another one for um, for the for the satellites so and then where is this train heading for fuel pickup? That should be arriving here. So, uh, no, that's Light delivery. That was the right train schedule, but I thought Now I'm unstuck. Ooh, already the next rocket. So that really made a difference. Ah, yeah. Here, this train. We only have one. It's stuck in gear loading waiting for gears so what's up with that where are all the trains oh we have a deadlock here because the delivery trains are also in the waiting bay um because there is uh, uh, some iron backlog here, so they won't deliver. And your problem is... Whatever your problem is, that's a problem for next time. So let's end this episode here and figure out what's going on with our gears in the next episode until then goodbye